It's time for our Russian Spectacular concert, a concert that we do every April where we get to tour some of our favorite pieces that are also favorites for the audience. There's a couple things about Russian music that I think really stand out. One is just the sense of emotion. It hits you in the face, the way the melodies unfold, the way the harmony just pushes the melodies forward is just something that touches every single music lover. The emotion is on the sleeve and it's very high energy and always exciting. The other thing is the virtuosity of the playing. Whether it's a piano soloist or a violin soloist or the brass section in the orchestra, Russian composers really knew how to highlight the capacities of each instrument. And it's thrilling to watch this stuff go down and to listen to the energy and the training that goes into presenting big Russian pieces. We've got three pieces on this concert. The first is by Lyadov, a composer who who was born late in the 19th century and wrote a piece called Kikimora, a piece that is based on an old Russian myth about a magic spider. It's a very sort of creepy piece. It has lots of very interesting uses of the orchestra. It's not what you think of as a typical hit you over the head Russian piece, but by tapping into this sense of mythology, it really is Russian to its core. Second will be the Prokofiev Second Violin Concerto. This is a great example of virtuoso violin playing, and we've got the perfect violinist for it. His name is Evgeny Kutik, a Russian violinist, as you can tell from the name, and he's made quite a specialty of this piece. He's a rising star, has played this piece all over the world, and I'm really excited to have him with us for this. It's also a perfect setup for the second half of the concert, the Fourth Symphony of Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky, of course, is a composer that we go back to often, and and with good reason that Tchaikovsky could just make the big statement, the big moment happen like just about nobody else. This piece is interesting. It starts with the whole brass section coming in on this unison horn call, this unison fanfare feeling that's like a motive that Tchaikovsky described as fate knocking at the door. And this motive comes back in the other movements as well. And particularly at the end, just when we think we're where we've hit the finish line with this joyful finale, the motive comes back and cuts everything off with its severe darkness. Of course, this being Tchaikovsky, it does return to the exuberant finale for the end, one of the fastest and loudest endings of all of Tchaikovsky's symphonies. It's a great way to end the night. Russian music is always a fun concert to come to. Hope to see you there.